Hello, I'm Rachel Piper. Welcome to my channel, Size Diverse Pilates, where I'm trying to make Pilates more accessible to the larger population. Today, we're going to do a short chair workout. So we're just gonna do half a set of footwork. Uh, go ahead and find your footwork, footwork springs. I have on one high and one low. I also have this balance pad up top. Um, because what I know that for some larger bodies, sometimes it's hard to be able to get the lift and to be able to stretch out without having a little extra height here. So this balance pad, or you can use, um, maybe a, maybe a two inch yoga block sometimes helps you with a little bit of range on the up. So heels together, toes apart. We're just gonna press down and come back up and think about having the tallest spine possible from the tail all the way up to the top of the heads, bringing the ribs back. Inhale to press away and exhale up. So press away and pull that back in. Press away and pull that back in. We're just gonna do a short set today. So let's take ourselves to our arches. Heels are sliding down the back of the pedal. Ball of foot is trying to reach over. Don't really care what the toes are doing, but the idea is that the, the, the ball of the foot is reaching over, the heel is reaching back. Then press down and come up. And I am the kind of person where I don't really care where your arms are as long as you're trying to keep your collarbones nice and open. They can be anywhere. They can be here. If you can stabilize and keep that nice tall spine, um, they can be back behind the head if you can keep your ribs in as you press down and away. Last one here. So wherever you need them to be, you can have them. If you have handles on a one to chair, you can go ahead and wrap your arms around there. From here, heels. Let's go ahead and reach those toes up towards our shins, press the heels down, pull them back up. Press them away and pull them up. Trying to get some nice range here as we reach tall all the way through the spine. Two more. Last one, bring it up. We're gonna come off and we're gonna turn around for our tendon stretch. I really love that variation of tendon stretch. If you had your pad or whatnot, you can go ahead and put that away. Take one foot, bring your pedal down, then come up to the balls of your feet. From here, I'm gonna do a nice sort of plank like position. I'm gonna try and be straight, tall spine here. I'm gonna lower the heels and lift the heels up. Lower the heels and lift up. So I'm tucking my chin a little bit, trying to reach out of the crown of my head, trying to keep that nice tall back. Let's do two more, that feels nice. The last one here. And then go ahead, bring that pedal up. And then from here, go ahead and take off whatever your low spring is. Now, if you need uh, a little balance help, you can grab a foam roller or a gondola pole here, but we're gonna do some pumping. I don't know if I'll need this or not, but I'm gonna have it just in case. You're gonna stand in front of your chair in parallel position, nice and tall. You're gonna bring the ball of your foot up, and this is extremely light for me, so, um, the reason I want it light is because it's going to be a little bit more of a balanced challenge. You're going to do a little bit of twisting here. So nice and tall from your tailbone to the top of the head. Heel is lifted. You're going to press the leg down and pull it back up. You're going to try and keep your hips the exact same height. So if this is too much of a challenge because of that light spring, you can go ahead and put your hand on top of your foam roller or foam, foam roller <laughs> or your gondola pole. Um, otherwise, you can try and increase the balance by taking the hands back behind the head. Let's do two more. I was aiming for about eight. Then take that leg off, put that down, maybe shake it out a little bit. When it's light, you really use that opposite leg that's on the ground. Then from here, try and stand nice and tall and forward. Bring the ball of the foot of the other leg up. Now, um, if you need to, you can switch sides in case you need that foam roller close here. Um, but the goal is, is to try and get that hip down. This hip on my side really likes to lift up. So for me, I have to be really careful 
ball of foot on the pedal and then you're up with that heel lift, press down and reach back up. So you're really trying to do these nice and slow, keep that tall spine as you press through the ball of the foot and then reach back up. Press down and reach back up. Let's do three more. You can play around with wherever your hands are. Woo! It's a nice balance challenge. Okay. And last one. Then we're going to come back to that first side. If you need to switch your foam roller, you can, but you will end up letting go with it. We're going to do three more pumps and then we're going to do a little bit of a twist. So you're going to bring the ball of the foot back up, really square those hips, take that down. Ooh, make sure your heels lifted and come back up. On this one, you'll stay down, press down into that ball of the foot. Take your arms out to the sides, nice big inhale center and exhale to twist towards the leg on the pole, exhaling, exhaling, exhaling. Hips are forward, inhale back to center and then exhale to twist the opposite way. And then back to center, go ahead and lift that up. We'll do the same thing on the other side. I think it's good to like switch side to side, side to side sometimes. So if you want to do your full set and then add the twist at the end, you can. But I always like to make sure that I can get back into that same position. Square the hips, drop the hip that is on your pedal side here. Take the pedal down, make sure you have that heel lift, then lift back up. Then take the pedal down and lift back up. Now our third one here, we come down with ease, press into the ball of the foot, take your arms nice and wide, nice big inhale center, and exhale to twist into or toward the leg of the pedal, and come back, nice big inhale, and exhale to twist away from the pedal leg. And back center, then lift that pedal up, and take it down. Now we'll come back behind here. We'll take this out to the side here in case we need it. You're gonna line your foot up with the front of your chair. Now this might be different depending on um, how tall you are. If you have a little bit shorter legs, you may actually wanna line up with the pedal. So you're gonna play with it. But the idea is, is that when we get into this crossover pumping that we're gonna do, that you want to try and get your hips to be square. And um, if your legs aren't long enough to reach from this position, you just move in. That way you can square your hips. It's the same exact movement, okay? So you're going to take your foot up on your pedal, and that's why you have this here in case you need it. You can just put your hand on top of it. And when I go down here, I want my foot to be secure on the pedal. So if you need to adjust your foot, you can go ahead and do that. Then once you're down, you're going to square the hips and then you're going to try and keep the hips exactly where they are. You're going to take the leg up, then you're going to take the leg back down. So we're going to do this five times. Reach up tall. Sometimes we start taking the head forward when we're doing something different with the body. So two more here. Nice light spring gives us a lot of stability work, balance challenge work, and then bring that up. Woo! Bring it down. Not like that. No, just like that if you have to. Then nice big twist. So just trying to take your arms out to the sides. Nice big inhale and exhale toward that leg. If you need to, you can always hold right here to twist. Then come back center, inhale, and exhale to twist the opposite way. Hips still stay forward, and then come back center, and then lift that pedal. So we'll do that all on the other side, so you can see me from the back side here. I'm not going to switch my chair around. So I'm going to line my foot up here. I have about a 33-inch inseam here. Uh, maybe 32, 32, 33, something like that. So from here, I'm gonna square those hips, 
and then I'm going to keep this close here just while I get my foot on. We're trying to aim for the foot to be in the middle of the pedal, but if it has to be back toward you because of your legs, that's okay too. Once the leg is pressed down, that's when you're going to try and find your hip, um, your hips being square and making sure they're down. Then as you come up, you do it from your hip and your leg here and you try and keep the pelvis steady. So we have five. One side is usually a little bit harder than the other, which is why it's always good to have a helper close. And then take the pedal down and then as you lift it, you might have to actively press this hip down. Keep it square. Go ahead and hold here. As you hold here, you'll take the arms out to the side. Nice big inhale. Exhale toward the leg on the pedal. Inhale, center. And exhale to twist the opposite way. Woo, that's a lot for me. Then inhale back to center. And then see if you can bring that pedal up. Woo, and then we shake it out because sometimes that's just a lot of work. All right, this is a quick one. So that really got us balanced and it really warmed up those hips. So from here, Go ahead and put on two lows or maybe one high. Keep it on one high. Again, these are just spring suggestions. Everybody has, um, everyone has like a different spring tension here that they need. So um, if you don't know what yours are, you can always give me some information in the comments and I can help you try and find your spring setting. But really it's just trial and error. You just gotta play with it. Okay, you don't want it to be too heavy that you strain yourself and you don't want it to be so light that you're not gaining the strength that the chair su uh, supplies here. So we're gonna go parallel position and we're just gonna do a standing push down. So from here, we're nice and tall. We're gonna reach our arms up and then starting with the top of our head, we're gonna start rounding forward. We're gonna try and keep our pelvis up for as long as possible so that we really are coming down and articulating through the spine. So pelvis stays up. Then from here, we're gonna press the pedal down, stretch the back of the body. Then as you come back up, you're gonna try and get the pelvis upright first. So pelvic tuck like crazy to reach up and then bring your spine up, arms follow your ears. We're gonna do two more like that. So nice and easy, really make it nice and sort of flowy, maybe intentional, a mix of both. Sometimes those are opposites and sometimes they go together. Press the pedal down. And as you come back up, you're gonna try and right that pelvis upright first. Pelvis, pelvis, pelvis. Then your spine comes all the way up. Take the arms out to the side. One more like that. We have bonuses when we come down. So we're gonna keep that pelvis upright for as long as possible. Then press yourself down. From here, we're just gonna bend the arms and straighten the arms. Bend and straighten, bend and straighten. Two more like that. And you know I love the feel good stuff. Press the pedal down, start articulating up only halfway start to right the pelvis up, then take the thoracic spine, lumbar spine down, then come back up, and then press it down. We're going to do two more like this, right? We're massaging that spine. I love a good spinal massage. Last one. And from here, same thing. Resist the spring. Try and get that pelvis up nice and tall. Release. Pelvis comes up. Little back. Middle back. Upper back. Oh, all the way out to the side. And that is our quick little workout. We had a little bit of balance stuff at the beginning. And then we just really allowed our spine to sort of roll up and down to end. Super quick. Super 
effective and fun, honestly. I mean, the standing leg really has to do a lot of work in some of that one leg work. And then I always love getting a nice little spinal massage, like I said. So um, if you liked this quick little video, please like, share, and subscribe so that I can make more of these fun videos for everybody. Thanks so much. I'll see you in the next one.